Round against this as a storyline. And you can see that we then got short the blue line, short the blue line because the pound's dropping and the carry's dropping, right? So when we look at that, we know that that's a risk off environment. And if it's a risk off environment, we can recognize that we'd rather be short selling than buying equities, but we can still buy equities to hedge out that equity exposure. Well, if you bought the equities, you can see you've got a stop at break even on the, the FTSE and then another stop at break even on the FTSE on those two tested high prices here. And now that's dropping off. You're now in an outright S&P short. It's perfect. I don't know why people don't do it. Or maybe it's access to the FTSE is the trouble. But my goodness, when you discover this, guys, if you ever do discover this, you'll never go back. You will literally never go back when you start understanding the concept of spreading. Think about that. I took an S&P short trade where I had a delta almost of zero in the stock market. I ended up with an S&P short trade with a delta of almost zero. It's crazy, isn't it? My exposure was on the, S the uh, pound, but I'm already short the pound because I was already on a carry short sell anyway. So I can still take that delta of zero. And then when it flattens out, I can clear off my buy side FTSE trades and just let the S&P roll, assuming the pound and the carry are still very bearish. I can just let the S&P roll. And if I let the S&P roll, there she goes. It's all clean money for $1,000 with a hedge in place, guys. A hedge in place on that trade. Madness. Absolute madness, isn't it? How good that trade is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As I said, when you discover it, if you ever discover it, as in you've decided to do these classes and you've looked at it and you say, well, you know what? That actually gives me an awful lot of stuff that I can add on and lean against in terms of these outcomes. I've got a lot of ways to express this trade as, a, as an outcome as well. As I said, you, it's unlikely you'll ever go back to normal trading. Once people understand spreading, they wonder why they've not done it for their entire lives. Uh, because it's it gives you that edge, that gives you that hedge, which is your edge at the same time. Beautiful. So we're back in amongst it, guys. Obviously, still bullish. Do you see the discount on the um, into that liquidity again? Do you see the discount candle? Back into the same liquidity. There's your discount candle there. Very nice setup. Very nice liquidity level. And a very easy buyable opportunity just off of that uh, discount. Very easy buyable opportunity off the discount, isn't it? Fantastic. Why buying there? Because the liquidity is a bloody 15. We've told you this already. The liquidity is always going to be at 15. So it needs to be down here at 14s. That's why we drew a bloody box at 14s. Starting to make sense about this morning's classroom now when I talked about this very subject. In fact, there's the classroom I just talked about there. Look, this was a screenshot from this morning's classroom when we talked about if it was going to be a sell, if it was going to be a sell in this occasion, we were talking about the sell being there. Well, imagine instead of that being a sell, imagine that being the liquidity. Imagine this price here being the 15s on, on, on the S&P. And then this being the 14 as a buy on the S&P. That's the trade I'm talking about. Whether you recognize it from this morning's classroom depends upon whether you're paying any attention to this morning's classroom. And obviously, the takeaway from that trade was absolutely brilliant. You seeing the value in this now? 14s just traded a high price of 22s, another eight points, another $400 winning swing. Back to the VWAP, back to the VWAP, back to the VWAP. 
very nice indeed, isn't it? Very nice indeed. And again, congratulations to anybody that followed along with that bit of business. Very impressive. The um, the Warren line doesn't look too bearish today, actually. We're holding well against that 14 bottom edge area. But uh, the Warren line's certainly not been terribly bearish so far today. So that's pretty good. Plan your trade, of course. The thing is, Paul, that's absolutely right. I mean, you've got to be ahead of the market because if you're trying to figure this out on the right-hand side, it's never going to work for you, right? Because by the time you figure it out, the trade's already gone. What you need to know is you need to know what it is you're looking for so that when it happens on the right-hand side, that's your trigger. It's not your plan for a trigger. It's your trigger. And that's the way you execute it, fast pace. That's the way you execute as it sets up without waiting for it to do something else. Just get into it. Let's see that trade on. Crazy, 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 crazy. We love a bit of crazy. Bit of a pity about that uh, bond.